Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be solving this question, the integral of e raised to x into cot x plus log sine x dx. And we'll be solving it by parts. So let's begin. So first of all, we're going to be writing this as two different integrals. One is the integral of e raised to x cot x dx. And the second is the integral of e raised to x log sine x. And we have one important observation, that is, we know that the integral of cot x is log sine x. So this is what we're going to be using. We're going to keep e raised to x cot x as it is. And we're going to solve this integral by parts using the Lie-8 rule. If you don't know how to use the Lie-8 rule and you're not sure about the by parts formula, then you can check out my video in which I explain it. I'll be link linking it in the description box and at the end of the video. So the formula is u into the integral of v dx minus the integral of differentiation of u into the integral of v dx. Here we're going to place log sine x as u and e raised to x as v using the Lie-8 rule. So let's solve it by parts then. So we have log sine x into the integral of e raised to x minus the integral of differentiation of log sine x. Oh, I should just write this on the second line. So we have log sine x integral of e raised to x minus the integral of differentiation of log sine x integral of e raised to x. I hope you don't mind. This is kind of messy. Let's go ahead. So we have the integral of e raised to x cot x plus the integral of e raised to x remains as it is. It is e raised to x because the coefficient of x is 1. So the integral itself is e raised to x minus the differentiation of log sine x is cot x because the integral of cot x is log sine x. So this becomes cot x and this becomes e raised to x again. So as you can see, we have e raised to x cot x plus e raised to x sine x, log sine x, minus the integral of e raised to x cot x. So this integral and this integral gets cancelled because of the minus sign. And we're left with the final answer, e raised to x log sine x plus c, which comes from integrating this e raised to x. So don't forget the plus c. And this is the final answer. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry about the mess that I've created here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.